this week on 3D Archery. Got another box in the mail. Hey everybody, Walk 3D Archery, Greg here. All right, it is November 23rd. It is 75 degrees down here in Louisiana. This is what I like. Um, so what about the video today? You've seen the thing, you know why you're here. But our archery club, the one that I belong to and I'm the president of, we had in our event, is that people want more competition. Well, that means a lot of stuff. You know, we, we did a 3D competition, went over great. We had people from four different states show up. But I wanted something different besides 3D. We got Target. We got that. Then it dawned on me. My good friend Phil, from up there in Kingston, New York, the maestro himself, had a clay pigeon shoot where two people would face off. They have to break these clay pigeons. Whoever does it first wins. I go, you know what? That's awesome. So what do I got to do? Got to find something to hold the clay pigeons. Well, found this website called High Wild. It should be right here is the link. And they had this clay pigeon holder. Three of them. Adjustable height. I think it was like 24 bucks. So I said, why not? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to open it up, take a look at it. Set it up, take some shots, and let's see if it's worth 24 bucks. z box. Oh no, Skeeters. Uh, we did have rain. And they go right in the air. Alright. Alright, I opened the box. It's real simple what it is. Base, holder, and all the adjustable height is just new sections. I mean, you can't get much more basic than that. All right, I'm gonna set it up. Let's see how it works. Took seconds to put together. Not bad. Um, the higher you get, the flimsier it's gonna get. All right, this is four. I'll bring it in real close. Real simple how it goes. There it is. So it's gotta go one way, you can't go like this. You could, but this will spin. But you just go like that. I mean, that's how easy it is. All right, here we have it. So, let's see if we can break some uh, clay pigeons, shall we? All right, I was gonna shoot them, but I set them up. When you do it, the wires are really tight, so what you do is you force the um, clay pigeon down into it, and it's supposed to secure it because, you know, when I hit this thing, it is definitely going to flop and wobble a little bit. All right. Here's what it is. All right, let's do some shooting now, finally. I'm only going to shoot it from like 10 yards away this time. Normally, I, I like to do 20, but <clears throat> I probably missed the first few. All right, you know what? It works a lot better than I thought. It didn't sway nearly as much. I hit all four first try. You know what? That's not bad. All right, let's set it up and try it again. All right, everybody, there you have it. Works great, fantastic. Found a downside. I just flushed these a week or two ago. And that clay pigeon eats the feathers up. Now, I am shooting micro diameters. Two of them didn't get damaged, but two did. Look at that one. 
Um, I think maybe if you use like blunts or something, I think a bigger, heavier arrow will probably uh, crash it up a little better too. Mine's a little lightweight. Just hits and gets dissolved. But for $24, this is fantastic. This is just what I was looking for. Now we can have a speed shooting competition. All right, everybody, there you have it. 24 bucks, High Wild, website right here. And your club, too, can have a speed shooting competition. Or you can just play with it in your backyard. Something to do. Um, like me, I'm at the skate range here at Waddell, and there's plenty of clay pigeons laying around, so I'll never have to buy them. All right, don't forget to check out the website right here, where you can find a list of all public and private clubs, archery ranges, 3D courses, and businesses. All right. We also have a listing of archery competitions, the organizing bodies, national and regional ones, not local ones, because that's, just, that's I just can't keep track of all that. And we have archery festivals, and finally, targets by me, 3D Archery. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time with an all-new episode, 3D Archery.